Thank you very much, Excellency Vice President of the Gambia and distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be part of this very important discussions and to bring to you the position of Ghana in this whole idea of ensuring quality population management and ensuring cooperation between our South South countries. The impact of population growth is already very much felt in Ghana. From the days of independence until now, about 60 years on, when Ghana's population recorded about 8 million at the beginning of the independence, 60 years on, we are recording a population of about 30 million souls, which is, by all indications, shows that the population management of our country had not been very effective. Having felt this impact, Ghana has taken seriously the, to improve family planning and to work towards ensuring maternity health, child and infant uh, uh, mortality, and to ensure that we have a proper, effective, quality population management. The Ministry of Health, therefore, has shown a lot of commitment in ensuring that we implement uh, policies that will address the issue of healthcare and improve lives of individuals. There has been much impact on the lives of people because of improved budget attention on these areas. But as the, the, the His Excellency, the Vice President of Gambia and the Minister from South Africa, Minister Zulu has said, the political will is very important, having to ensure commitment by government to improving budget and to allocate resources to healthcare, and especially primary healthcare and universal healthcare, is important. And so, in the case of Ghana, our commitment to universal healthcare has taken us to ensuring that we implement the national health insurance scheme which has brought together, uh, has brought into focus the care of all people of Ghana. It is open to every individual of, in Ghana. Children between the ages of one to 18 are covered free of charge. Old people 70 years above are covered free of charge. We provide healthcare to all other people at a minimum rate of a premium of less than um, less than five dollars and you are covered throughout the year. This is in line with government's own assurance that it will take care of the population and work towards ensuring primary health care that will eventually reduce uh, the stress of increasing population without the care of it. But we still have unmet needs in our family planning efforts. And so it's, it's important that we work towards achieving a more comprehensive coverage. The critical area that we have recognized is that population and development cannot be divorced from the management of our economy. And so management of the economy is critical. And this is important, especially to the um, the developing countries such as in the Africa, because we have realized that going to borrow all the time, going to seek help all the time to develop our, our economies, to finance our health needs, and every other issues will no longer be a way forward. And that in order to manage our population well, it is important to manage the economy well. So in as much as managing the population is important, um, the economy must be strong and resilient. And so we agree with the, po the position of China. China, from the presentation we had, started off as a third world country, just as we are now, suffering the same way, developing below expectations. But as soon as they put in place measures, China 
it's no longer recognizable the, the way it used to be as little as 20 years ago. And so it is something we need to work on. And I believe that African countries working with China, working with other countries of exemplary nature, committing itself to improving our economies and emulating the examples they have shown can improve our health, can improve our economies, and can lead the way into achieving the best for our people. The situation in Ghana can be improved from what we have agreed on so far. We have agreed to redefine our health uh, planning and policies, and we have also agreed to improve the existing structures that has brought about change. And so, Mr. Speaker, sorry, my, sometimes when, when members of parliament speak there, um, ladies and gentlemen, it, it, we, we, we believe that uh, committing ourselves to improving our economies, committing ourselves to increasing budget allocation to health needs is a way forward in ensuring that we manage our various populations very well and ensuring also that we are no longer what we, uh, what we, 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 we are today. It is a misery in, in Africa, especially, and I think that we must move away from the dependence, the increased dependence, and have our own way in improving the population needs of our people. Thank you very much.